Alright guys, this is a quick review of my bug out bag. Um, and this is a bag that I really keep with me all the time. I usually keep it in my car if I'm going away somewhere. Uh, if I'm you know, at work, I keep it in the car as well. I always keep it somewhere uh, readily accessible to me. And the point of this bag is so that if I need to go somewhere quickly, I could take this bag and I know I could be okay for you know a day, two days. This is not meant to be a long-term survival bag. This is meant to be I need to get from one location to my next location and you know I may have to spend the night outside, two nights outside but again not long term. This is pretty much very short term just trying to get from one location to another. Uh, as you can see the bag is made by uh, TAC Force, T-A-C Force. Um, I actually got this on Amazon.com maybe about a couple of years ago. I think I only paid about fifty dollars. Uh, I got this separate, the canteen holder. I got this on Cheaper Than Dirt. I got uh, the carabiner separate. I think I got that at my local sporting goods store. Um, but it is a very good bag, very well made. Nothing super expensive. Um, you know, it's got all the molly webbing in here, so I can attach things to it, like my canteen holder. Um, you know, I could attach more stuff if I wanted to, but I want to keep the weight, you know, pretty low. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open it up real quick, go through quickly what I have in the bag, why I have it in the bag, and maybe you guys will find this useful if um, you know you're building your own bag. Um, or if you already have one, maybe there's some things that you don't have or some things that you have that I don't have, in which case you can you know, leave me a comment. Um, some of these pockets are a little hard to open because you know I don't really use the bag, I just take it with me in case I ever do need it. Um, but we'll start with the canteen itself. So the canteen holder right here, um, again I got this from Cheaper Than Dirt. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. I just have a uh, typical canteen here, Nalgene bottle. Um, nothing else in the actual bag right here. In the front of the canteen holder, keep a couple of supplies, you know, for water in here. So I got some Crystal Light, maybe I want some flavored water. Um, I got some Gatorade packets, again, you know, if, if I need a quick boost of energy and plain old water is not going to do it for me, again, I can add some Crystal Light or some Gatorade packs here. I'm just going to leave those on the side. Um, here in the main pocket of the bag, now what I did here with the bag is I put other packs within the main pack. So, bear with me here by the camera, I'm going to try to move around a little bit. So, uh, the first bag within my bag is actually my first aid kit. Um, and it's very compact. Again, I got this bag at Cheaper Than Dirt. I actually got most of these bags at Cheaper Than Dirt, uh, with the exception of the actual pack itself. Um, and this first aid kit I kind of just built on my own. It's got some rolled gauze, I got a little pair of shears, some glucose, some Advil, some scissors. Um, sodium chloride in case I need to clean out a wound, um, alcohol prep pads, I've got some basic medications, Advil, um, some allergy medicines, some Benadryl, Aleve, aspirin, uh, some tweezers. So I've just got you know the basic stuff here in this kit. It rolls up quite nicely. And you know I like that it's in its own separate pouch because let's say for some reason I need to abandon my main pack, I can just take this first aid kit with me and I can go or if I'm traveling with somebody and they need some assistance, some medical assistance, I can just quickly throw them, you know, the first aid kit. It's separate, it's compact, it's also got the straps on here. If I needed extra room, I could just strap it onto my bag and, you know, save some more room. That's the first pack I've got within the backpack. I'm just going to move this to the side. Well, the next pack I have within the backpack, this is some medicine. This is some uh, extra supplies, some hygiene stuff. Um, if you open up the first little part right here, I've just got some Q-tips. Q-tips are indispensable. You could use them for medication, you could use them for their intended purpose, you could use them for cleaning uh, you know, your weapon, whatever the case might be. Got another little pack of gauze here, got some hand lotion. You never know you're traveling outside, you're working outside, your skin gets dry. Um, right here I've got some water purification tablets. Um, you never know. You need Water is one of your key things. So. Obviously I've got a canteen, I would assume the canteen would be full when I leave, but if I use it and I need to replenish it, water purification, uh, tablets always help. I'm going to go ahead and put those back in here. I've got some multivitamins. You don't know what the situation is going to be, you don't know how long you could be without adequate food. Uh, maybe you got to, you know, scrimp and scrounge to get some food and you, you want to make sure you've got all your vitamins and minerals, so I just keep a thing of multivitamins in here. Now some people might say, oh, well, they may expire. Yes, these may expire, but you know what? I'd rather take expired vitamins than no vitamins. 
Uh, next thing I have in here, got some more ibuprofen, and I got some more aspirin. Again, just a little kit, uh, some basic stuff within the main bag. You know, again, maybe I'm traveling with someone, maybe I need to throw them this, I'm going to keep the main first aid kit. You never know. Again, these have straps. I could strap this onto the canteen if I needed to. A lot of options when you have the straps on here. Next bag I keep in here, again, has multiple pouches on it. Main pouch, I've got toothbrush and some toothpaste. Again, you don't know how long you're going to be outside. You don't know where you're going to be traveling to or from. You want to have good hygiene. You want to make sure you brush your teeth. The last thing you want is to get an infection. You know, you may not be able to get antibiotics or medication. It's very important to keep yourself healthy when you're on the move. In the main package here, the main pouch, a little thing of powder. I got some deodorant. If you notice, I put the deodorant in a, um, a little Ziploc bag. Reason being, you know, let's say it breaks open, you know, it gets crushed, it melts. I don't know what could happen. I don't want it to ruin my pouch and then the rest of my bag. So I keep it within a little Ziploc container. Um, next thing in here, I've got some shampoo. Obviously taking a shower in an emergency situation is not priority, but it's good to have that just in case. You never know the situation presents itself and you have the ability to take a shower quickly uh, or even if you have to bathe in a river. Whatever you need to do to survive, you know, you got to do. So again, another little pouch. I can strap this to my belt. Maybe I'm going to go somewhere, you know, where there's a clean source of water and I could shower and freshen up. This has got everything I need and it can fit in the palm of my hand. It's just shampoo, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, powder, all in one very small little bag. Uh, this is made by Condor. Actually, most of these bags are made by Condor and I got them all, again, on Cheaper Than Dirt. I'll put that over here. Uh, the next thing I keep in my bag, which is pretty useful, and I, again, I got this little package on Cheaper Than Dirt. The flag is already on here. Again, it's got the Molly straps. I could strap it on, clip it onto my belt. And this is probably one of the most useful things I have in the pack. In here, I've got pens. I've got Sharpie markers, pencil, and pens. You never know. You've got to write something. You don't have paper, write it on your hand. Write it, you know, on, on your arm. Whatever you've got to do, Sharpie marker is great for that. Next thing I have in this little fold-out, extra keys. Extra keys to the location that I'm going to go to, whether it's my house, whether it's a friend's house, whether it's a place of business. The location that I'm going to, I've got the keys to it already. Because in an emergency, I don't want to have to think. I don't want to have to say, where are my keys? Where did I put them? Oh my god, uh, the location I'm going to. Do I have the key? I don't remember. I got them right here. Right in this pack, strapped in. Finally, the next thing I've got in here is I've got some cash. I always keep $100 in cash. Very small bills. The 20 is the largest bill in here. The rest are 10s, 5s, and 1s. Reason being, it's a crisis. I'm going somewhere. I don't want to have to worry, does the person I'm doing business with have change? Maybe there's a vending machine you know, along the way, and that's the, my only source of water. I want to have some singles so I can get the water out of that machine. Or if there's someone along the road that I could buy something from and they don't have change, it's okay. Here's a five, keep the change, you know, thank you, and I'm on my way. So again, important to keep some cash, small bills, that way you don't have to worry about making change. Just lift this back up. So as you can see, and again, I know it's kind of hard with the camera angle, this bag really just consists of other bags. Um, the next thing I've got in the bag is an MRA. This actually takes up a lot of room because it is pretty large. But you know what? It's good to have. It's good for, you know, 15 years, 20 years. So I'm not going to worry about it. If I'm walking, if I'm on foot, and I know I've got a day or two days to get to my destination, I'm going to make this last. This has got 2,000 calories. This has got a drink mix. This has a food, um, a dessert. This has matches. This has everything I need. All I need to use this is a little bit of water to heat it up which again I could use for my canteen. I got some water purification tablets. Uh, and this is chicken with cavatelli. So I can always keep that in there as well. Next thing I've got in my bag here, I've got a small uh, solar powered radio, flashlight, um, and a hand crank. Again, this is all solar powered or hand powered. It does not require any batteries. Maybe I'm on my way and you know I want to get an update. I want to see you know, what's the government saying? What's the crisis? How, how is it progressing? Is it safe to go where I'm going? whatever the case might be, or maybe I just need a flashlight. So again, this is made by Eaton. I just kept it in the original package because you know what? It's not something I'm using every day. It's just staying in the bag. And you know, in an emergency, maybe I'll find a use for this packaging. Maybe I could store food in this plastic packaging or, or tools or something. 
So again, I leave it in the package. Very useful to have. Uh, next thing I've got, this is some uh, blood stopper gauze. So basically it's a big piece of gauze with two pieces of rolling cling on it. It's great, you know, maybe I'm, I'm walking, I'm hiking, and I get a deep wound or something that my first aid kit is not able to handle. So this, I could, I could wrap it around my wound, and you know, it's just an extra thing to have. You know, worst case, I could use this as a napkin. I could use it for anything, but it's good to have. Um, finally, in the back part of the bag here, I got an emergency tent. You know, this is a very basic tent. This is like a mylar blanket almost. It's very reflective. You'd use it between a piece of string, tie a piece of string between two locations, pitch the tent up, you know, it's good for one person, maybe two. I just need to spend the night. Again, this is not long term. This is, I gotta get from one destination to the next. This could protect me during the night if it's raining, if there's a weather situation. You know, it's good to have. It only costs about, I don't know, two dollars, three dollars. Slip that back in here. Um, this kind of fell down, but I've also got a small sand splint. Um, this is good. Maybe I get injured along the way. Maybe someone I'm traveling with, someone I see on the road gets injured. You know, and I want to stop and help them. I got a small splint here. You could splint an arm, you could splint a wrist, you could splint, you know, whatever it is. And it takes up no space. Let's see. Finally, I got two cans of Sterno in here. You never know. I need a fuel source. Maybe there's something I gotta cook. Maybe, you know, my MRE, I wanna heat it up, you know, using Sterno. Maybe I just wanna use this to start a fire. Or maybe, you know, along the way I find, you know, a piece of metal, a pot, something I can use, you know, to cook food. Now at least I've got a fuel source. I've got two cans of Sterno here. So that's all in the main compartment of the backpack. Then in the front pouch here, there's a little flap. And again, I apologize that it's a little hard to see on the camera, but at least you can hear what's in here. Um, I keep some extra Ziploc bags. You never know. You know, you come across something, you need to, to store it. You don't want it to get contaminated. I've got some extra Ziploc bags here. Um, very important. I've got a compass. Again, I keep this in the protective packaging. No need for me to be taking this out and using it every day. This really is for emergencies only. I know how to use a compass. Worst case scenario, I gotta get to a location. You know, whatever it is, I have another tool to aid me here. Just bear with me as I, uh, as I put this back in its protective pouch because uh, I want it to be ready, you know, if and when I ever do need to call upon it. Also in the front pouch here, again, I've got some more ibuprofen, more water purification. Water purification really is the key. Without water, you're not going to get very far very quickly, um, and that's going to end your, your emergency really fast. Um, I also keep some hand warmers in the front pouch. You never know, maybe it's a cold, uh, cold night that I've got to travel, maybe there's bad weather, I don't know, but i got hand warmers in there. They take up no space, um, they're very inexpensive and they're good to have. It's a good peace of mind you know, to know that you have those on you. Um, on the side of the bag here, I don't really want to turn everything around, I do have a pair of shears. I keep those right here, you never know I'm walking, I, I need to cut something, a, a branch, a piece of rope, small branch, um, maybe a piece of clothing, I gotta make a sling out of something. I know where they are, they're strapped right onto my bag here. Um, while the bag is on its side, let's go ahead and open up this pocket. So in this pocket right here, I've got some matches. I've got some waterproof matches. Uh, I've got some hand sanitizer. I've got some more hand wipes. I've got some fire starters. Uh, these work in all wet weather. And as you can tell, again, I keep these in a plastic Ziploc bag. I keep this in a plastic Ziploc bag. Maybe it's raining. My whole pouch is getting wet. But you know what? My fire starters, my matches, everything is going to stay dry. Uh, I got some glow sticks. Again, you know, maybe I need a light source and I don't want to use a flashlight. You know, if this is all I got, this is going to work for me. Um, again, I've got some more matches here on the side. I've got a lighter. Again, everything's in a plastic Ziploc bag. So that way it stays protected from the elements, protected from the rain, protected from, you know, snow, sleet, water. Who knows? Maybe something breaks in my pouch. Maybe the canteen breaks open. I don't want everything to get flooded, I don't want everything to get ruined, so that's why I keep everything in a plastic bag. You know, it's sealed up nicely. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn the bag to the other side. Uh, this pouch, I don't think I have anything in here. I think I used to, but I took it out. Yeah, this, this side of the bag, actually all I have 
are some empty plastic bags. You know, typical bags you get at a grocery store. Maybe along the way I see something I need to carry, you know, extra items here. I can just throw it in a plastic bag and carry it. It's also good for a shelter. It's also good, you know, to store maybe small amounts of water. Who knows? But when you need a plastic bag, it's good to have one on you. Um, all right, back to the bag. We do have some front compartments of the bag right here. So this is uh, getting a little tight to open, but you can see in the front part here, I keep some survival wraps. These are those Mylar blankets. They're very light. They take up no space. I've got four of them right here in the front of the bag. I could use these as shelter. I could use these to signal because they're reflective. Um, I keep some biohazard bags in here. Again, sealed in another Ziploc bag. Maybe there's a medical emergency and you know I've got blood covered gauze or, or hazardous material. I don't want anybody else to get injured. I could put that in a biohazard bag, seal it up. It's already got a marking on it so when the next person comes along they'll know that there's something you know hazardous in this bag and to use caution. Uh, let's see what else do we got. Just got some basic tools in there. I'm going to put all these back in and then we're going to move on to the next compartment of the bag, uh, which is actually the last compartment, and it's the front one right in front of the water canteen. Now in this compartment, and again these are a little tough to open because I don't go on this bag. I put everything I need in it, I leave it in there, and I pretend it doesn't exist until you know the day comes that I do need to rely on this bag. Very important, nice pair of work gloves. I got these at the Home Depot. I think it costs maybe five bucks. Very good work gloves. Get them in your size. Make sure you try them out before you just buy them. You know, you're on foot. You're trying to make a shelter for the night. You're grabbing at branches, you know, rusty pieces of metal. Who knows? Last thing you want to do is cut your hand and get an infection. A nice pair of work gloves. These are padded, you know, Velcro strap on them. Five bucks, ten bucks. Invaluable when you're in a crisis situation. And maybe it's really cold outside. I'm not saying these are going to protect you a lot, but they're better, for, they're better than nothing. All right, also in the front pouch here, I got a piece of rope. Um, this is 50 feet of paracord. I got this, I think, at a local uh, sporting goods store. It's great. I could use this when I got to hang up the tent to spend the night. I got to hang up clothes to dry, maybe hang the bag off the ground so it doesn't get wet. Who knows? Rope is invaluable to have in your survival kit. And I got a really quick thing right here, all stored up on a spool. Doesn't take up any room. Next thing I've got is I got a flashlight. I left it in this case here. This is a mini mag light. You open it up, it's got two mini mag lights. One with a AAA battery, one with two AA. You know what? I'm going to keep the case in here too because maybe I could use this case or something. Maybe I could put my glasses in here, my sunglasses, uh, to, uh, you know, my watch, some valuables, some money, whatever this is. This case can provide storage to me. This has, this has value to me in an emergency. Oh, let's see what else we got in here. I've got some tape, some electric tape, uh, some more electric tape. Again, I left this in the pouch. This is a nice little plastic container. I could put loose change in here. I could fill this up with water. You know, I don't know. It's got a lot of uses. I can keep that in there. Finally, the last couple items in here, I got a screwdriver. Uh, again, I left it sealed. No need to open this. Just leave it in case I need it. I don't want to lose pieces. This is an interchangeable Phillips or flathead, you know, different sizes. Great to have. It's four tools in one. Two sizes of Phillips, two sizes of flathead, all in one easy to use tool. Um, next I got in here, I've got a Leatherman. You know, I need a knife. I need, you know, a ruler. It's got a ruler on the side here got a pair of pliers, I need to cut something, I need to fix something, unscrew a bolt, something. It's good to have a leather in, takes up no room at all, just sits in my front pouch. Again, I could put it on my belt if I needed to, if I'm walking around. You know, maybe I gotta abandon the pack for some reason, I can't take it any longer, it's too heavy. I could just take the tools I need, I could take my leather in, take my first aid kit, you know, my canteen, and I, that's it, I can head out on foot, you know, without the pack. I could leave everything behind if I needed to. Um, I think that's all that's in here. Let me just see. Uh, yep. Last thing, it's another thing, a rope. Um, rope is very valuable. 
you really never know what you could use it for, what you need it for, but it's good to have. It takes up no room. Again, this maybe is a couple of grams, 10 grams, 20 grams, no weight. So, hope you guys found this helpful. And again, I got the carabiner here on the front. Maybe I want to use this carabiner and hang the entire bag from a tree or something. You know, it's good to have. So this is the, basically, again, the contents of my survival bag, my bug out bag. It has just what I need to get me from one location to the next. I'm not planning on living a year outside with this bag. I'm planning on a day, two days maybe max. Do I need more water than this? Yes, probably. Um, but again, this is just the bare minimum. Assuming I'm leaving my location, I'm heading out with this pack, I'm going to take another couple of water bottles. I'm going to fill up anything I can with water. You know, I've got iodine tablets, water purification if I need to get water, you know, in route to my locate in route to my destination. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Again, I got most of these packs, they're made by Condor. I got these on cheaper than dirt. Um, I got various supplies at various places. But all this stuff is very basic things that you can get at a hardware store, a sporting goods store. You know, I got screwdrivers, some ropes, some electric tape, a leatherman, flashlight, gloves, some first aid supplies, some hygiene supplies. Uh, some Sterno, Crystal Light, Gatorade, a canteen, you know, very basic stuff. Um, you're going to see people with all other sorts of crazy things, you know, swords, guns, daggers, you know, who knows? You don't need that. You need to get from point A to point B as quickly, as safely, and with as little weight as possible. I really think this fits the bill. Obviously, you can tailor this to your needs. Maybe you need to put uh, some additional supplies. Maybe you have different health needs. Uh, child care needs, uh, whatever it might be that you need to carry with you. Obviously you need to factor that in, but for the most part I think these are the bare bones, basic supplies that will get you there quickly, safely, and without a lot of weight on your back. Because once you start walking with this bag for a couple hours, it's really, you're going to get tired. So you want to keep everything to the bare minimum. And if you've got people with you, it's great to have these separate packs. Give it to someone else that's walking with you. Give it to your buddy, give it to your colleague, your coworker, your family member. Hey guys, listen, I'll carry the bag on my back. You carry the first aid kit, you carry the hygiene kit, you carry the medication kit, you carry the water. It's great to split things off. All they need is a belt. Put it on your belt. Don't have a belt? Clip it to the belt, you know, buckle loop on your pants or something. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, if you have ideas, if you uh, do something better than me, by all means share it. You know, I'm always open to improving this. I'm not an expert. This is what I do. Uh, you guys might know more. You might know something different. Or maybe you'll just find this helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this, you know, please subscribe.